Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get a Google Chrome browser to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. So first of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, we'll have to go to search on your device. There it is, open it. And here in the search bar, start entering the loader. As you can see, it already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter whole name of the app. Now we click on the loader, and that's the app which we need to get to our device. However, after we get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So to set up the loader, we'll need to go to settings, so go to the home screen, then click on that button with the gear icon, scroll down and click on My Fire TV. Open it. And here you have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's really easy to make them appear. To do so, just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and from here locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does is going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily on those which are only available in the official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's finally go to the list of apps on your device, there it is, open it. And here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to Croatia right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same amazing deal for VPN. Now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we go back to the home screen, open with the loader app, wait until it actually loads, then on the left side menu, you have to click on Home, that's really important. It has to be Home and not Browser. So we click on Home, and here in that search bar, we got to enter a code, which is going to be 2, 8, 9, 0, and 7. So once again, the whole code is 2, 8, 9, 0, 7, and then you have to click on Go. Now, in a couple of seconds, a website is going to open up for us. Usually, it takes around 5 seconds. Now when the website has opened, we just have to scroll down a little bit until we find a list of categories, there it is, and from the list we have to click on browsers, so let's click on it, and then a huge list of web browsers is going to open up, and from here just click on Google Chrome, there it is, let's click on it. Then if any ad pops up for you, do not click on open, because that would mess everything up for you, instead click on close to just close down the ad that you see. So click on close. The ad should close down right now, and a new web page is going to open up, which we also have to scroll down until we see that download Fire TV Android TV button. That's exactly what we're looking for. But if for some reason it doesn't work, 
and we download doesn't start, you can always use the backup download link, which is just below the usual download button. So for now, we click on download for the Android TV version, and the download is going to start right now. Usually, it doesn't take long, but of course, the download speed depends on your internet connection. It still has a couple more seconds to go, so let's wait a bit until the app fully downloads to our device. Then we have to click on Install, and now, in a couple of moments, the Google Chrome browser is going to be installed to our Fire Stick or a Droid TV, depending on your device, of course. After that, do not click on Open yet, instead press on Done, because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file, as we really don't need it anymore on our Fire Stick device. There you have to click on Delete, and then Delete once again, to get rid of unnecessary installation files from your Fire Stick. After that, finally, you can go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, let's open it. Now scroll down, and here at the bottom you'll find Google Chrome browser, which we just unloaded. Now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button on three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way, Google Chrome is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time needed. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. Once again, you can use my link below the video, or just go to topvpnoffer.com to get 3 months of service totally for free. And of course, don't forget to subscribe my channel for more content on Firesticks. See you next time, bye bye!